thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman, a channel of satire, comedy, and entertainment, and basically just a channel of me calling it the way I see it. If you like what you see, consider hitting the like button, maybe subscribe, and if you don't, tell me why in the comments down below. And just maybe I'll take your comment and make a funny video about what you said. Now, it's hometown heretic day again here at the Alabama Woodsman. And I'm reviewing a little bit older video of my favorite heretic, Timothy Dixon. This one, um, this one is interesting. Uh, let's, 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 uh, let's get right into it. As you can see here, this one is titled Biden's Actor. Ooh, Biden has an actor in the White House. What president? Who, who hasn't? Anyway, uh, God's Hand on Kamala. Repent, America. Blackbird Swarms. Wonder what that's about. Uh, it's by Timothy Dixon. It was recorded on March 15th, 2021 but it was released on March 23rd of 2021 on a YouTube channel called Jesus in You TV. There's 26.4 thousand subscribers to that channel at the time of this video, as you can see by the picture. So let's get right into it. Oh, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God. Oh, oh. God in this dark hour. Oh, Jesus. I would speak to this nation and I'd speak to the leaders. You have counted all foolishness to those and the ministers and the men of God, and the prophets and apostles, and the teachers. So, folks, Timothy starts off with the Lord saying, You've counted it all foolishness. Yeah, Timothy, they do. And you're part of the reason why they think Christianity is foolishness. You doing this brings shame to the name. That's why they think we're all a bunch of fools. Because it's obvious you're preaching and you're talking. You are not prophesying. You are not prophesying. Now, let's address the apostles thing. I've done it before. There are no apostles on the earth. This is a new apostolic reformation teaching. The same thing where he says <clears throat> that, uh, uh, that the world is going to be in revival and all that. That's new apostolic reformation teaching. Everybody else says that America is going to downfall, that we're in a downturn. The Bible says in the end times, men's hearts will wax cold. There is not going to be the revival there once was. Look at the statistics. American Christianity is suffering year after year after year. Now, the foreign countries, there's a rising year after year. How are you going to have revival when we have so much transgender, LGBTQ? Uh, how are you going to have revival in that? They shut the churches down. You may get revival one person at a time, but you're not going to have like a, 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 a revival that sweeps a state or the country. No, those days are gone. Don't doubt me. They're gone. And part of why they're gone, if you look at the scriptures, is because of people just like this, just like Copeland, like Duplantis, like Benny Hinn, like Rod Parsley, like Jim Baker, and Timothy Dixon who embarrass Christianity so bad, they make it difficult to defend. I can't defend anything Dixon's doing. Even the sinners know this is a clown. How am I supposed to defend Christianity with Mr. Dixon doing this stuff? Hey, Mr. Dixon, there are no apostles. There are no apostles. Stop saying there are apostles, because there are none. Even a secular dictionary will tell you that the apostles were the ones that started up the church. And once the church got started, there's no need for apostles. There's no more apostles. There's none. But no, the time is right now that I, the Lord, shall require all the blood of the prophets 
that's been stoned and persecuted shall be required at your hands. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, forgive me for the, the microphone. I'm trying out new systems and everything. Did you hear what the prophet Dixon just said? He said, the Lord through him said, that he is going to require the blood of all the prophets that were stoned, that's the past, at the hands of today's United States leadership. The Lord himself is going to hold Biden, Kamala Harris, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, all these other knuckleheads responsible for the death of the prophets who were stoned thousands of years ago. That's what the man just said. Rewind it if you don't believe me. How can you not see this man does not speak for the Lord? How is, how is the Lord going to hold them responsible legally? <clears throat> for the blood of the prophets that were stoned thousands of years ago. Folks, if you use your common sense, you know, Rick and Bubba on my local morning station say, uh, uh, common sense is now a superpower. And it is. Common sense will tell you, if you have been a Christian for a while, you know how sin works and how it's to be paid for. They are not going to pay one second in hell for the death of, of prophets who were stoned thousands of years ago. This man is not a prophet. He is a church jester. He gets up here and he says, I would have this message to the people. Folks, it's theatrics. He should have his own three ring church circus. But the Dixon sheep love this man. Because they are blind. They like what he says, so they forget all his stupidity and all his inaccuracies. They are blind. And it is sad. But oh, the Lord would speak to Italy. You're away in the balances and you've found wanting. Know that my hand is upon your country. And that I, the Lord, shall even shake it further. That I, the Lord, shall rumble and roar out of the mountains and the volcanoes and I'll trim the coastlines because you've stepped in and you've interfered with a work of my spirit. Is it not been said that I've said to touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm? Okay, folks, this is extremely common for false prophets to use this scripture. It's Psalms 105, verse 15. I don't know of a TV false prophet nowadays that I have not heard them utter this. And the sheep who follow these false prophets will repeat it. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Hey folks, there's this word called context. You better look that scripture up and see what the context was. Then look up the word touch. <clears throat> You'll see that that word in context means a grasping of. Don't grab and beat down physically the prophet of God. But we're still dealing with context way back, 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 back in the Old Testament. Now, they use this because when they get attacked, well, let's back up. They're not being attacked. They're being criticized and they're being questioned. That's what I'm doing here. I am questioning and I am criticizing. I am not attacking. There is nothing physical about me going to attack anyone. I don't, I don't do that. I'm not calling for that. But if you, don't, if you don't have the ability to question church leadership, if you can't question the prophet of God when he says something that doesn't come to pass, doesn't make common sense, doesn't match the Bible, if you can't question him, you know what you get? This is what you get right here. You remember this man? Y'all remember him? 909 people would not allow himself to be questioned. 
I'll bet my house he brought this scripture up. I can't prove it. But if I was a betting man, I'd bet he pulled up the same verse. Psalms 105.15 has nothing to do with questioning and criticizing and testing the spirits. Oh, remember that? You're supposed to test them. You line them up with the word of God. Dicks and sheep don't do that. They don't do that. But now I, the Lord, shall hold accountable to those that have stood and mocked my people and come against the servants of whom I have rose up. This is the hour that I shall bring forth a word. This is the hour that I'll bring forth accountability to the pastors and to the teachers. I'll bring accountability to the souls that's been lost that you've dangerously and you've told them lies. He's actually preaching to himself. Folks, that what he just said, the words he just used, fits his ministry, his prophetic ministry. Not the preaching and singing, but it fits his prophetic ministry to the absolute letter of the Bible. He's preaching to himself. Don't doubt me. Don't doubt me. Read the scripture yourself. For the love of the Lord, read the scripture yourself. For your own benefit to cover up for your filthy lucre. Many has lied, many as preachers and pastors has had a false vision. I shall stand up and I shall show forth, even as I have spoken by my servants, how rattle. I'll even take the top off of Etna, saith the Lord of heaven. Even as it's already been spoken by a prophet that I'll take the tops off. Okay, folks, first, let me point out that he's already said a so-called prophet has prophesied this. So this is old news, right? Because one prophet's already prophesied it, but they back each other up. Let's look at this graphic right here. This is what I, I typed in, Mount Etna eruptions on Google, in Google, and this is what I got. Since to the year 2000, this volcano has been active. Probably for thousands of years in the past. This is nothing new. This is not a prophecy. This is Google research. That's all this is. Etna has four. Etna has had four flanked eruptions, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 9. Summit eruptions where they take the top off. 6, 7, and 8, between January and April of 2012, and, and uh, July to October 2012, December 18th, and one month before this prophecy. In February of 2021, look at the date of the release of this, and look at the date of the dream. It erupted a month before this. Folks, this is not prophecy, it's Google search. An eighth grader could look this up. I could prophesy right now. Ooh, 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 I'm going to cause fires in California. The earth is going to shake. There'll be blackouts. There'll be water shortages. There'll be crime in the streets, thus saith the Lord. It's called the law of averages and probability, and it's not prophecy. How cause streams to run red like blood. I'll cause waters to run backwards and break the dams, saith the Lord of hosts, to tell the leaders of this nation to let my people go. And my people is deceived and not even know what's right and what's wrong. They have no perception or no discernment. Oh, hear me today, saith the Lord of heaven. Know that I, the Lord, sees the phony. I see the duplicate. I see the actor for Joe Biden. You think you fooled everyone but me, saith God. I'll stop it. Because I lay my hand upon Kamala. And it shall come to pass that she shall blow like a storm, saith the Lord. Or you've betrayed. Oh, 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 hallelujah. Oh, Lamb of God. 
I shall do a strange thing amongst the animals, thousands of blackbirds in flight, swarming the trees. be plagues, a sickness amongst the cattle <clears throat> of certain areas. 